Bartholomew Kuma is back in the spotlight of the fans after in the previous chapter of One Piece he was saved by Sabo from Mary Joyce. Unfortunately, Kuma's condition was very different where he no longer had a human side. What's interesting is that in chapter 1064 yesterday, it was revealed that Kuma was actually the father of Jewelry Bonnie. And Jewelry Bonnie's goal in coming to Egghead's Island herself is to get revenge for what Vega Punk did to her father. However, in chapter 1067, Kuma suddenly stood up and ran from the Kamabaka Kingdom. Where's Kuma headed? But before we start this video, please smash that like button. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please subscribe and click notification bell, or you will miss future anime videos. Of course, this is a big question that arises when Kuma suddenly leaves. Although we still don't know exactly where Kuma went, there has been a lot of speculation suggesting that Kuma might end up going to Egghead Island. What for? His goal is none other than to save his daughter, Bonnie. This speculation seems quite reasonable, especially after the fact that Kuma was the father was revealed. If this later proves to be true, then it means that something has emerged from the speculation. Looks like Kuma's human side is still there. As mentioned earlier, when he was saved by Sabo from Mary Joyce, Kuma's condition was very worrying. He seemed to have turned into a robot, and lost his human side. This was evident from his response when Dragon asked him to show what had happened so far. However, if indeed Kuma goes to save Bonnie, then this means that there is still a human side in Kuma's body, even if it's a little. In addition, Kuma's memory may not have completely disappeared. The other big question, of course, is how Kuma knows about Jewelry Bonnie's condition if he really went to save her. For now, this is still a mystery. However, there are several possibilities that arise for this. First, Kuma found out about Bonnie's condition through Seraphim or Pacifista. Like Vega Punk, it's possible that Kuma is connected to another Pacifista or Seraphim. Of course, you know that Vega Punk created a lot of Pacifista Kuma. In fact, the Pacifista has also formed an army led by Sentamaru. Apart from being in the Navy, Pacifista Kuma is actually on Egghead Island. Then, in Chapter 1062, we see how CP0 is heading to the island to restore Seraphim Kuma, who is considered not functioning optimally. All of Kuma's pacifistas and Kuma's Seraphim may be connected to the real Kuma. This then made the original Kuma realize that Bonnie was in danger, and he had to save her immediately. Second, another possibility is that the real Kuma knows the situation on Egghead Island thanks to the transmitter's ability on punk records. In chapter 1067, there is new information about Vega Punk. In the information, how the original Vega Punk and a satellite can be connected to each other is thanks to the transmitter on punk records and the antenna on the tip of his apple-shaped head. All of them can access the data or information contained in Vega Punk's head. It makes sense that he would also later learn of the situation in Vega Punk through the transmission. It could be that the goal is to save Vega Punk because right now Vega Punk is in danger, where CP0 is targeting Vega Punk. The question is, can Kuma save Bonnie and Vega Punk? The answer to that question is that it is very likely that Kuma can save them both. Even though the distance between Kamabaka and Egghead was huge, the fastest way is to use Kuma's Devil Fruit. As we know, Kuma's Devil Fruit can send or fly anything he touches. This is what we see when Kuma flies the Straw Hat crew before the time skip. Besides being able to fly other people, this Devil Fruit can also fly the user. It could be that Kuma flew himself or with friends from the Revolutionary Army to save Vega Punk and Bonnie. What? <laughs>